What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new series on this channel. The series is going to be Dark Cloud 2. This is one of my favorite games when I was a kid. It was made by Level 5. A couple other games were made by Level 5. Uh, Dragon Quest 8 is one of those elaborate games. A really long and difficult game actually. One of the highest rating on IGN. Um, that's a good game. Uh, Dark Cloud is a series game. There's Dark Cloud 1 that was before it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and not listen to that cutscene and go right into a new game of Dark Cloud 2. I will be doing a full 100% of this game. Um, it'll be quite a challenge, quite a bit going on. It'll be very interesting. So, um, you start off, you get to pick what your characters look like. You only, because I have multiple save files on one memory card, you get to pick both of the characters. But in this case, I only get to pick one. Or I got to, you should only be able to pick one. But there's a lot of cutscenes, so I'm going to be quiet. Okay, so we're kind of thrown into this battle situation without having any idea about, um, really, it gave you a little list of controls. This is the first character that they're given to you in this game, it's Monica. She seems to be uh, in a castle, kind of like a, she seems to be that type of like a princess, what it seems like, and we have these type of and weird type of enemies, griffin soldiers. This is kind of the style of gameplay, um, where you can fight multiple enemies at once, um, trying to take all of them out, and... If this guy will die, there we go, and we'll get on with the uh, rest of the cutscenes. Dear Mother, how are you? I'm doing fine. So much has happened that I don't know where to start. Well, I guess it's easiest to start at the beginning. It all began that night. Right, that night of the storm. Soaked. Ah, Max. Pretty early today, huh? Yeah, I guess, but take a look at this. Haha, <laughs> ta-da! Check this out. I got a ticket for Flotsam's Circus Troop. Oh, good for you. Your dad's not gonna try to stop you? He said I could go. Well, you better finish your work quick then, huh? Right. Hey, Max, what's that you got there? What's this? Father gave it to me yesterday. Always wear it, he said. It's pretty old. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Well, can I get started? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Gable's vacuum is set up below. Go to it, lad. Leave it to me. 
Okay, so here in this situation, we're introduced to our second character now. Oh, it seems to be our character is really good with machines, kind of working. His name's Max. Uh, in this point, you're introduced with your menu. This way you can open up your items. Uh, there's multiple characters uh, that you can choose from, eventually leading on throughout later parts in the game. Uh, moving, if you click move, it'll show up a map, and you can see there's quite a few different sections of the map that stick out, um, like a sore thumb, really, that shows. Uh, at least we're going to have multiple areas of this game that we're going to be exploring. The area that we're in right now is Palm Brinks, which is the first town that Max actually uh, presides in. So, um, we, you have your settings that you can change, and then <clears throat> come down here, and this is actually Gable's Vacuum now. I've had quite a bit of trouble with this game at the beginning because I didn't really know what you had to do. Um, so I ran around this area for a long time trying to figure everything out. Now, you can click on this book. It's a notebook that you can keep. And then you come up to this uh, cupboard and click on this wrench. Uh, the only thing about this game is it's pretty repetitive. So I'm going to be finding ways to make it more interesting so it isn't the same thing over and over again. And you'll see what I mean at, in a little bit later. But yes, let's go ahead and fix Gable's vacuum. This is the Anbar Type 2 here. This is a pretty specialized hose attachment. Oh, I see the problem. Everybody ready? Let's have a stupendous show tonight! Let's make this a night of wonder! All right, all. Let's get to work! He is without a doubt the creepiest character in this entire game. Honestly, he is. And plus, it doesn't help that I completely hate clowns. Okay, so as you can see, we are at what appears to be the circus. Um, that one big fat clown there was uh, Flotsam. Uh, he's the head leader, I guess, of the circus crew. So let's see if we can get in with our ticket that we got. Here you go. Hey, my ticket! That little fucker. Find the boy who ran away with the ticket. Check with people in the town first. So, at this point, we're going to be able to interact with people that are around town. Now, you can do this normally throughout the game. You Did interact you with plenty of people. Um, quite a few people that you can talk to um, and quite have some good events and experiences with those type of people. So, make sure you talk to as many people as you can uh, as you progress throughout the game. So, we're going to go find that little bastard who stole our ticket. Now, the thing is, if you do not talk to everybody on this pathway... Ride? Did you? Just now. Okay, well, if you do not talk to everybody on this specific pathway um, that leads around in this circle, <clears throat> then you will not be able to ha 
um, when you go to the last section where uh, you need to go through talking to everybody, it won't actually complete the chain reaction of talking to people, so you will not be able to complete what you're doing. That actually happened to me multiple times in the beginning when I tried to play this game. You have to talk to every single person in a line. And she tells us that you push, uh, you can look up at the moon. That's a weird moon. It's two different moons separated together. Now, if you know anything about Dark Cloud at all... No, I'm stuck. <clears throat> if you know anything about Dark Cloud at all, you'll know that there is a first game. But there's the first game and the second game actually have a weird bit of story background between the two. It seems, although regardless of setting of the game for the way the character goes throughout in his world, it seems to be as if Dark Cloud 2 takes place before Dark Cloud 1. So let's talk to you. Hey, hey, did you see a red-haired boy? Me? No signs. I see. Honestly, I'd say screw that and keep the ticket for myself, but that's just, you know, I'm just that selfish. <laughs> Damn, well, it looks like we don't get to go to the circus now. What? You passed. You might be able to do it. Hurry, the first door is waiting for you. Yeah, exactly. What the hell? Now, the thing is about this game is it kind of... I don't really like the way it begins, the or at least the progression of the story. It starts out really weird, like that shifting with the female character of Monica with a half part of a scene where it seems like it's shown that her father has been um, slain, I guess is a good word, by a random... Uh, it seems like a demonish kind of human being... Um, he is slain and then randomly goes into Max where he is just a worker. He's someone who's good at fixing machines and then he gets put into this and then going to go to the circus and then that happens. Something extremely weird as if time was frozen. So now we get to go into the circus and we get to see the circus.
Well, Mayor, you're certainly looking well. <gasps> well, if it isn't my favorite roasted chestnuts. You thought of everything. Huh? What's this about? Oh, mm, this is good. Indeed, this town's chestnuts are the best. Well, not yet. You see... Now, Mayor, are you really trying hard enough? You know what happens if you don't find the stone, <laughs> don't you? Oh, wait, please, I'm trying my best to find it. Please, I need more time. Ah, oh, well, what can you do? But remember, this chance is your last! Are you sure that the stone is in this town? <laughs> oh, I can smell it. I can smell it! The stone is in this town! Absolutely! But we turned the mine inside out looking for it. We couldn't find the trace. <laughs> oh, sweet mare. We've been through this. I've told you before. I don't tolerate Ah, but the people in this town really are living the sweet life, huh? Not knowing anything of the outside world, they're lost in their carefree lives. <laughs> With such a pack of ninnies, no wonder they can't find a single stone. <laughs> You can't tell anyone about the outside. There'd be a panic. And no one would be able to look for your stone. Oh, I know, Mayor Pooh. We'll keep it our little secret. <laughs> Darn. Well, we just fucked Who ourselves. Are you? This is exactly why that clown is creepy as shit. Wake up, fools! Did you see it? The red stone around that boy's neck! We found it at last! <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get him! I know this is video games and all, but no way his parkour is this damn good. Like, look at this. He would, I would have been captured like 20 minutes ago. He gone. He gone. Watch this. No way. Mm -mm. How? And then this part just ceases to amaze me. Get ready. Okay, somehow, magically. This is what I get for questioning video game logic.
Alright, so this is another scenario where we just get randomly thrown into combat once again. Well, not randomly, that we knew that this was going to take place, but with, without fighting them for a second, the placement of events that were going on, I mean, they make sense the way the game is going, obviously, because it was a good... I mean, the story in this game is actually pretty elaborate, but the way it's been take like, it progresses, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm... Fuck these guys. So, they're all guarding somehow. Let's see if I can take them out. There we go. Let's do a decent amount of damage. So, this is Flotsam's crew. Flotsam's obviously the... What seems to be the antagonist of this game so far. He wants the stone that's around our neck. But, let's see if he's gonna get it. Fuck no, he's not. Shall we begin then? These guys ever quit? What now? Hand over the pendant, boy! Hand it over now, and I'll let you leave here alive. Pendant? You want this? Don't do it! Huh? Well, what's it gonna be? You can't give it to him. It's too important. Hand it over! No! No, I won't. Well, if it's going to be that way, then die! So after getting attacked by a giant robot, freaky clowns, I think we've had ourselves one hell of a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, there's quite a long uh, scene after this. I will let you guys listen to it. It's a beautiful song. I love it personally. It's quite amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed this first part. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode.